All right, what's up everyone? Some brand new information for Project Resistance has come out. And yes, you can see it in the title because it's kind of the only really noteworthy thing that came out is that it will feature an offline narrative component, a single player component. And I'm doing air quotes as I say that because I really do not like the way that it was mentioned, the way that it was introduced. So PlayStation Blog, and I'll link this in the description and I'll put some images here on the screen so you guys could read along. They've asked a few different questions, kind of the most, you know, basic questions you can ask and the questions that no one likes to hear when they're, you know, reading these articles from home, the boring ones. Oh, how did you come up with this? And oh, how is this going to play like? And who is this character? And, and no, we want to know the more juicy details. And one of them, at least for me, was, is this game going to feature any offline content? Because to me, this was online only. So PlayStation Blog asked this particular question. Was this game planned to be an online game from the beginning? And they replied, the version we showed at TGS 2019, Tokyo Game Show 19, 2019, was an online game mode where we are fully aware that there are many Resident Evil fans that expect the story and the game. And in an effort to satisfy our fans, we will have an offline mode that is focused on the narrative component. I do not like at all how that was said. In effort to satisfy our fans, we will have an offline mode. That means there was never going to be an offline mode. Because I've also read this in another uh, article, basically asking these same questions. Because you know, when when they when uh, companies, developers, publishers bring these games to these conventions like PAX or E3 or Tokyo Game Show, they tend to get asked the same questions because they can only reveal so much about the game at this point because obviously the game is not ready and they want to keep some things secret. So I have also read that they were basically saying that we hear that fans want a single player mode so we're going to be adding one. That basically means they never planned one, they weren't going to have one. If everyone was completely okay with this being an online only game and the reception was extremely you know, warm. Oh, this is looks, this looks fantastic. I can't wait to get my hands on this. They were never going to make an offline single player mode. So that leads me to believe that even though this game is still in development and personally, I don't think it's that far away from releasing, there's not much to the game and they've already done, you know, they've already shown what the game is. It's not going to be too much more than that. As far as the online mo goes, in my opinion, because it's just four characters and the mastermind. Uh, I know that they teased that Annette is going to be a character in the mastermind position and that you'd be able to control William Birkin as her monster as opposed to Mr. X for um, the mastermind. But, I mean, I mean, uh, I think his name is Daniel. I, I already kind of forgot. But I don't like that they're just going to throw together a single player component. And they say narrative. So they're, they're making it seem like it's going to have an actual story. I feel that this game is going to have as much story as Umbrella Core, and for any of those like myself who have played through the Umbrella Core single player mode, the experiment, which the experiment was literally a tr training mode for the online modes. It's You did the same three or four objectives. I'll give it that they had numerous maps in the game. It wasn't a million, but they had numerous maps, one of them being the front part of Raccoon City's police station, which was cool, but they were all really tiny maps, and you did the same objectives, and that's it. The most story that I had were these small little documents in between certain stages, where the person I guess you were supposed to be playing as was writing, like, journal entries, and that's cool and all, but that's not really any story, to be honest, and... The fact that they're going to be throwing a single player mode to this at the last second leads me to believe it's going to be pretty much the same thing. And how different will the single player story mode be different from the online in terms of the mechanics? I felt, and I spoke to my brother about this when they first revealed this, he's not hes not interested in this game at all. He thinks it's, it looks awful, um, as do I think most people. But... He and I believe the same thing, that the on uh, the sorry, the offline mode would be the same exact 4v4v1 or 1v4 mode 
but just with bots. Obviously, you get to play, pick the survivor you want to play as, or you get to pick the mastermind you want to play as, and then you're fighting bots. There's no challenge to it. There's nothing different from the online component other than it's not player-controlled characters. And I still feel that that's what it's going to be, except that it's probably going to have, you know, most likely just... Uh, maybe little journal entries or something maybe you find little files but i don't see anything in this to be any different from what the game already is because they're throwing this together and i think there was a a leak or something i don't, I don't know if it was a leak a rumor that the release date was march of 2020 which is not that far away so with that much time left in the, for development, I mean, what single-player narrative story can you really put together? To me, you're just going to throw something together, or you're just going to make it offline mode with bots, which is what I think it's going to be. Now, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. If they can create an actual decent story mode that's replayable and is, you know, less janky and just more fun than the online component, then cool. Hopefully they can. But I don't like the idea that they're making it seem like, oh, we've heard our fans. They want a single player mode. I mean, that's where Resident Evil's always been, with the exception of a few games. Resident Evil has always been single player. I mean, 7 and 2 Remake were single player games and received extremely well. Why would you think switching to an online only game would be the answer? Unless you were going for a cash grab, which I do believe is the intention with this project. Capcom's not even developing it, they're outsourcing it. So, they still have a hand in it, though, because they're approving of it. Either way, I'm hoping that they do decide to make an, uh, an actual story mode to this. It'd be better if they just scrapped this all together and just remastered Outbreak, to be completely honest. I think more people would be happy about that. Uh, other than that, they just asked really basic questions. Um, they said that, you know, it's still in development, that they gave players a taste of the game, but, you know, expect... a uh, expect challenges that i guess you won't expect you won't see coming uh they said that when it came to the idea of making the game they basically said that they saw the joy in seeing people getting scared and then they thought that making a game like this with traps and zombies and all that would you know scare people which <laughs> it's not I would say Day by, Dead by Daylight would be a more scarier game than this because in this game you've got really janky animations and not to mention the way the game is. It's just an action game. There's not really anything scary to it. It's just an action game. Dead by Daylight, at least I could say, it could be creepy because of how the monsters are and just how the setting is. I mean, they're trying to imitate that game to a degree, but they're, they don't even come anywhere close to it, so... Either way, I'm still interested in trying it out, seeing how it is, but I just think that remastering Resident Evil Outbreak, which has just been a much better idea. I just hit the microphone. I apologize. Um, they, they even mentioned Resident Evil Outbreak. So PlayStation Blog said, four-player co-op brings back memories of Resident Evil Outbreak. Is this a remake of the original game? And they replied, some users think of, a, of this, as a new, this new game as a remake, but that isn't true. The survivors being normal citizens is something we imagined from Resident Evil Outbreak. However, the existence of Mastermind is a big difference from Outbreak and we are developing this game in a different way, aka forced PvP. No cool story modes, no having your friends turn into zombies and attacking you and making it different, no multiple outcomes, no really cool characters with good personalities and I don't know, it's just... They had the easiest job. They could have just re... They could have re not even made Outbreak 3. They could have remastered Outbreak and Outbreak File 2. And this game, that game would have sold so well. And then you didn't even have to do anything new. You just remaster the game, give it a fresh coat of paint, maybe alter the controls um, the way you did with the Resident Evil HD and Zero HD remasters where you give it the kind of Devil May Cry controls and just have online play with like the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. And boom, that's all you had to do. Regardless, I could keep repeating that over and over. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to leave, like I said, the article in the, in the uh, description. You can check it out for yourself. It's very, very basic questions. But I just wanted to cover the fact that they said that they are adding a quote-unquote offline narrative component to the game. So let's take that 
for what you will, like I said, what I think it is. Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.